Uh, you guys, welcome to Austin Nights, which is the sixth lovely world, but not what you guys think. This isn't a building world. This is showing you guys behind the scenes on how I got from, on how I built it. Get that mini out of here. The first stop we're at, which is which is in front of me, and I'm gonna pull up pictures along with it. With it to show a side by side comparison. In front of me right now is my lovely home. Once the pictures pop up, I'll be perfect. That's gonna be an hour and a half. Just wait for a picture to pop up. Maybe I should open these up a different way. Instead of wait, okay. So right where I'm standing in front of right now is supposedly my home, my little lovely home, home and and the stuff I put put in front of it of it is how I built it. First, I did a wood outline, which is a ten by ten, ten by ten um radius. Then I did a um four five high, five high because the fifth was to cover the second floor. Then I did the um, birch wood, which is the flooring, and the stone as like the first part of the ceiling. Ceiling. Moving on to the crafting room. Crafting room slash bakery. This one was a, I believe, a 10 by 11. 10 by 11. As you guys can tell, this is what my world looked like. I mean, this is what the land used to look like before I took it over and made it into cobble. Or made it into what it is today. Today. This is my crafting room and bakery. So I use so the materials I used for this are... Uh, Stone and chiseled stone and the terracotta block for the top. And the terracotta blocks were used as the bakery. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as you guys can tell, it's part of brick and stone, cobblestone, if you guys don't want to copy that pattern. The third thing I have is in my fun land. Wait, did I just take a pic? Nope. Okay, so. So third we have, which is across the fun land. I'll show you guys the bridges in a second. But this is this is this is the next project I'm hoping hoping to work on next, which I have to go through different trials and error to build. To build. But it's gonna be my lovely fountain right right almost here. But we're going across to where my Fun land is. You can tell by the sign. Here's my fun land. And this is the watermelon game. Which you guys will see here. See here. The materials I used for this one are the um stone I mean not stone brick flat. The green terracotta block and the white terracotta block. Then I used the um, oak saplings for that, and I also used the terracotta block and the terracotta thingy, which you guys will, which you guys see kind of bit on the right angle here, because because you guys know I stand in front of that tree right over here when I took the picture. Wait, hold on. Let me do a side by side comparison and see if this was the tree I stood in front of. It's kind of identical, but still. Then I used, then for like the floor and the um, stairs and stuff like that, I used um, the green concrete powder and the light green concrete powder. 
powder. And inside of the game, which you guys will see next video, should be finished by then. Which I'm going to show you guys next video and what it looks like in my lovely world. But not, but this is just a video individually by itself. It's not going to be in a lovely, it's not going under my lovely world status. It's going under my Minecraft status. Because I'm not building anything in this, on, on the flat surfaces. Now the next thing I want to show you. Well, this is breaking out of order is the uh, first bridge, which is near my fun land, which is right here. I used light oak and dark oak for like the um pattern, and then I used the, and then I um then I took the um red and blue carpet and did that. And as you guys can tell by the torch placements, that's every time I walk by it. And of course, the pattern is red and blue until you reach the fun land. That's bridge number one. The next thing we have is my love garden. I know I'm doing this out of order, but this is where my love garden would sit. And the thing I use is red and blue wool for like the heart, as you guys can tell in the background. Background, I used red and blue, five high, one, or one, two, three, four, sorry guys, four high, right on the bottom, blue on top, three rows. With a chest, and as you guys can tell, there's people in the love garden right behind me, but I'm not going to read those guys off again. Right beside it is the garden, which is right here. I can, you guys can tell by the wheat, that's why I placed the water in wheat, so the wheat doesn't dry out and die. But in the farm, as you guys can tell, we have the wheat, carrots, potatoes, beetroot, Pumpkin, watermelon, and uh, sugar cane. I was going to put cacti to turn into green, green dye, but eh, what gives? Because I was thinking about making something out of green anyway. It's just something out of green later on anyways. Then we have bridge number two leading to the, t oops, leading into the town, which is the same thing, oops. Which is the same thing as I trample that? No, I didn't. It's good. Which is the same thing as my first bridge, but instead this bridge goes 50. 50. Then I took it and just did that. The next, oh, oh, and the only reason you guys see orange and yellow is because I changed the color pattern of the town. I want different colors to be different. I want my main area to be red and blue. To my fun land, to my fun land, and the fun land is pink and blue, then to light blue, then to the um, town is orange, and it's still my red and white pattern, but um, when you get into the town area, it's um, orange and yellow. That's how I want it to be. Be in my own lovely world. Now, when I get into the um, town area. I cut off half of this mountain just to build the path. That's the path stopped right here, and then I just cut off half of this mountain just to make room for the um thing. That's why you see stairs going up. Then here's the um thing I used for the cake shop or the cake factory, as I love to pronounce it as. Which I still need to fill in before next video when I build something next door to it. This is the cake shop. This is what, then this is the materials I used. I used orange, I used um, red wool, I mean I used brown wool, dark oak, yellow, I mean white wool, and red wool. Now, the coming soon is something that I'm currently, which is currently under works. Which I can't take a picture of through Windows 10 version. But I can give you guys a little hint. It's something that you guys read. It's something that you guys go to the rinse books. Ah, screw it. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm building a lovely library. But that's still currently under construction right now. That's still currently under construction as we can tell. 
as you can tell. That's why it has coming soon still, and that's all the pictures. More to come in this demo. More to come in this demo, but but there's a whole lot of projects I still need to build before I go ahead. Like I'm thinking about building the um half of it, half and half, and three videos. But the next video I'm looking for mainly is building down and go and building like a um little mushroom farm downstairs so I can have something to deal with, to, to to have my mushrooms with. So I can be able to have red and blue, green, red and yellow mushrooms. Red and, so I can have mushroom soup. Usually I hear a donkey go off, but it looks like I don't. Well, more to see you guys later. But I hope you guys liked this video. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, and if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I like new people to my team, to my group. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next to the next video. So until then, awesome guys, six out.